Hello Wargamers, it's me Callum from Tabletop Banter and today we have another video for you. Um, this is going to be another For the Emperor video. Um, talking a bit about the fluff again because I know I've given a brief overview of the chapter in one of the first episodes. Um, been over the chapter master a little bit though I'm going to probably delve into a little bit more detail because um, as I've written more of the book more has come to light uh, about the chapter. And um, today's title is obviously going to be The Council, and um, that's what I'm going to discuss in today's video. So, where to begin? I suppose we'll start at the beginning. So, as you may have known already, if you've watched the previous Fluff video, um, the chapter was cast through the warp from Rin's world, and uh, there are basically five guys who survive and set up the chapter. And these guys are the Council of the Kakarian Crimsons. So, anyone who is familiar with the Horus Heresy, uh, the books, the first book, um, and the Mournville, the uh, like, the four guys who help Horus in the uh, Lunar Wolves and stuff. It's kind of inspired by that, though obviously not heresy based. Um, the main idea being, uh, Chapter Master Calcius Crozium has four advisors who are various like uh, leaders in 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 the chapter, and um, because it's such a small chapter. It, it kind of works that way, as in they are the sort of top level and then everyone else is uh, their subjects, if you like. Although that sounds really bad. Um, so the idea was, it's it's a very small chapter. There's really only maybe one, one and a half companies worth of Space Marines there. So instead of having a full thousand strong chapter, they've got about a hundred um, to a hundred and fifty. So they're one of the smallest chapters, as far as I'm aware, in the uh, Space Marine fluff. And... Um, that is why this council is really important because it it makes the decisions for the chapter. It you know um, draws from the forces in appropriate manners. It it chooses what to commit and what not to commit. And it's this kind of collaboration of minds that's necessary to make a right decision, almost like a democracy. Um, and the council is made up of the five major named characters from my book. Um, obviously, chapter master Cassius Crozium is kind of the head honcho. And then we have uh, Chaplain Dorgon Tavarius, uh, Captain Kador Brengenen, uh, Tech Marine Faron Balthazar, and of course Librarian Hargor Harewood. Um, and these are his advisors basically, and they make decisions together. Um, and they obviously go into battle together, because when you only have 100, 150 Space Marines at your disposal, you don't have a lot to just kind of, like, you know, you can't just send one guy off with them and say off you go. Uh, it's kind of an all-or-nothing thing. They have to send the whole chapter or none of the chapter because otherwise they'll get taken apart piecemeal. Um, so that's kind of why the council is a thing. You know, they sort of gave birth to the chapter together. Um, obviously, Cassius Crozium had seniority before and that followed through and he has that kind of leadership aura about him. You know, he's not necessarily a combat beast, uh, but he definitely has that aura, that leadership. So... I really wanted just to talk also about um, some ideas I've had for this council in terms of the actual game. So Harry and I have been doing a bit of talking and stuff about my chapter and um, what would be really cool is a formation, like a custom formation of just the five characters in our Land Raider. It's about a thousand points so you can tell I've buffed up these characters. Like this isn't supposed to be competitive at all because the, the, the five characters they're just as squishy as a regular character in this game really. So. We've got like a 235 point chapter master who could die to a melter shot, you know, and it's just like, oh, okay. <laughs> um, so the idea behind the whole thing is just to be really cool. Um, and so this idea of having them all in a land raider uh, and they all pile out together, you know, like um, almost like the Avengers, like, the, you know, the Marvel series. That is how I see these five guys you know, a five-man army sort of thing. Um, so it'd be really cool to play something like that. I don't know what special rules they'd get, if any at all, um, but to be able to take them as just five in a land raider, I think that'd be so cool. Um, as for the book and everything with the council, um, the beauty of it is they're all of different mindsets and different opinions. So we've got the very level-headed, the very um, like leadership-orientated Calcius Crozium, chapter master, and then the very brash somewhat aggressive chaplain to Varius. He's very um, hard as an individual, very cold, and um, if it doesn't fit the Emperor's will, he cares not for what they're saying. 
Um, we obviously have Hargor Harewood, who we know is a librarian. That gives him that kind of psychic intelligence. Um, so he is able to say, well, you know, I don't think this is good for the chapter because this is what I foresee. Um, Kador Brengenen is a slightly uh, more... Um, he's a listener more than he is a speaker, is probably the best way of putting it. He will back Cassius Crozium up nine times out of ten. Um, and he's more of the I'm here to serve kind of character. And then we have Thron Balthazar, who is a very quiet... Um, individual but when he has something to say uh, people know that there is a an air of significance about it because he chooses when to say anything at all so um, that's what you kind of get with this council this kind of uh, differing opinions differing ways of dealing with situations and that's what makes it so um, great for the Kakarian Crimson chapter it makes it gel so well um, obviously they all have their own individual units of choice with them if that makes sense um, so Calcius Crozium has his honor guard, for example, uh, to follow him into battle. Um, Dorgon Tavarius has vanguard veterans because he has a jump pack. Because um, I really wanted to push that kind of like aggressive factor in him. Um, Hargo Harewood has a bike command squad uh, for various different reasons. Um, you know, he's on a bike for a start. <laughs> um, then Kador Brengenen has himself a you know like command squad, the company command squad kind of thing, um, banner and stuff because that's, he's the next step down from Calcius, so uh, he has that second tier of responsibility. And then uh, Theron Balthazar, I'm undecided on what to give him yet. Um, I assume he would take a lackey of servitors and a couple of vehicles. Um, and I get that kind of feeling that he's more of a lone kind of character, very much more quiet than the rest of them um, in, in, in personality, as we can really see from, hopefully, when I get this book sorted out. <laughs> um, as an update for that, I'm still working through Chapter 6 at the moment. It's sort of the big uh, push in terms of... Um, the, it's the major battle, if you like. I've, I've had a couple of small skirmishes on the way, and this is the first big battle uh, chapter. So I'm really trying to sort of piece it together nicely so you guys can uh, hopefully have something fun to read. It won't take too long. I don't think it will get past 10,000 words, so um, it's not going to be an absolute drag to read, hopefully. Um, but anyway, this was just sort of an update, and so you could see more into the, the fluff of the Kakarian Crimsons, kind of what they do, kind of how they function, their hierarchy, if you like. Because um, obviously the normal one is chapter master up top, and then it kind of filters down into a row of captains and a row of chaplains and everything. But um, this chapter functions on a much more uh, sort of family-orientated feel, uh, with the very close-knit uh, council, and then everyone else puts 100% faith in that council. Um, so anyway, thank you very much for watching. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Um, as ever, don't forget to click the two links in the description below, the first of which is to the Tabletop Banter blog, um, and the second to the Legion of Gamza Facebook page, um, with some great content from some absolutely great people. Um, and yes, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it's been me, Callum from Tabletop Banter. Don't forget, have fun.